In this video, we want to talk about how to convert an RGB image into grayscale image in Python programming language, so please stay tuned. So first of all, we import NumPy package as np, then we import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and then we are creating an image by hand. And remember that you can read an image from a file, which we are going to do that by the end of the video. But at the first step, we want to create an image by hand, which you can see here. And let's plot this image to get better insight of this image structure. So we are using matplotlib for reading and also plotting the results, the images. So we simply type plt dot I am show image. I mean image show. We want to show an image, and the image that we want to show is the image variable. And finally, we simply type plt dot show because we want to show that. And if we run the code. You can see here is our image. But now let's interpret these numbers. In this specific example, we just have four pixels. We just have four pixels. One pixel, two pixel, three pixel, and four pixel. And here you can see that our image has two rows, row number one and row number two, and also two columns, column number one and column number two. So as you can see here, our image has two rows. This is row number one, and this is row number two. And in each row, we have two columns, column number one, and column number two in row one, and column number one, and column number two in row two. And as you can see, the value, the first column in the first row is red. So you can see that here, the first column in the first row, the color code is 255, which is the color code of red, which is in the RGB system. This is red. R, G, or let's say green, B, which is blue. So this is totally red. And the second value is totally green, and this one is totally blue, and this one is totally black. So this was the interpretation of these values. But now let's create a function in order to convert this image to a grayscale image. So we define a function called, let's say, image to grayscale, and it takes an image as the input, as an input, and it is going to return a grayscale image. But the first step is to split this image into three different channels, red, green, and blue. And what do I mean by channel? For example, this is called the red channel. This is called the green channel. This is called the blue channel. And we want to split this image into red, green, and blue. So we define three variables, R, G, B, and we want to split our image into three different channels, red ones, green ones, and blue ones. So we simply type img, which is the input of the function, which is our image, which you want to split the channels. But we simply type all the rows and all the columns, but the value at index zero, the value at index zero is the red channel. So this is going to be the red channel. And then we simply type img, all the rows, all the columns, the value at index one. And also we're going to simply type IMG, all the rows, all the columns, and the value at index 2. So the value at index 0 is the red channel, the value at index 1 is the green channel, the value at index 2 is the blue channel. So in order to get the grayscale image, we need to average these different channels. Or let's say we should do the weighted average of these different channels. So we define a variable called gray which is going to be the grayscale image, and we are going to calculate a weighted average of these different channels. So I simply type 0 0.299 times red. This is the weight for the red channel, and maybe you ask why we are using this number, this specific number. You should wait a minute because I'm going to explain that by the end of the video. So plus 0 0.587 times green plus 0. 114 times blue. And I'm pretty sure that you're asking why we are using these specific numbers, but you should wait a minute because we are going to talk about that by the end of the video. And now after creating a function, let's convert our image into a grayscale image and show that in matplotlib. So we simply use that function, that function called image to gray, which we have created, and we pass our image to this function and the result would be a gray scale image which I want to call that gray underscore image and we are using plt.imshow in the matplotlib in order to show the image and we are passing gray image which is our 
grayscale image. And remember that in Matplotlib, when you, when you want to show an image which is a grayscale image, you should explicitly pass CMAP, which is color map. You should explicitly pass CMAP equals to gray. So after that, we simply type plt.show. And if I run a code, and here is the result, which you can see here is the grayscale image of our initial image. But now if you use, for example, different weights for red, green, and blue channels, for example, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for all of them, you will get a very bad result. So if I run the code with these weights, you can see here is the result, which is very bad. And the reason we use these specific numbers is because they are very famous and you can find these numbers in a lot of websites and a lot of official websites and they lead to better results for converting an image to grayscale image. But now let's convert this function into a better format, into a efficient format. So the first thing that we want to change is to change these with three dots called ellipsis. And what does it mean? It means that we don't care about these previous axes, we just, we just want to care about the last axis, which is the color axis, which is the color channel. We just want to talk about that specific last axis. We don't care about these previous axes. So I just put three dots or so-called ellipsis. And I just want to talk about the last axis. So, that, so that's it. And I can replace this with these values as well. And if I run a code, you can see we get the same result. The second improvement that we want to apply is to use a function called dot in NumPy package which we can replace these two lines with just one line. So we simply type np dot dot, which is a function in NumPy package, and we should pass our image. So we should pass our image, and we simply type all the rows and all the columns. And talking about the color channels, I want the values from zero all the way up to three. It means zero, one, and two. And remember that this three is exclusive, so it means zero, one and two and maybe you ask why we are writing it in this way why we are not writing it for example semicolon because if you write semicolon there are some images which has four channels and there is a specific channel called the alpha channel which is the transparency so we are typing zero all the way up to three and remember that this three is exclusive because you don't want to consider that alpha channel if it is available in that image. And then we pass a list, which is these weights. I mean, these weights for red channel, green channel, and blue channel. And then I store the results in a variable, let's say called gray. And now I delete these lines. And if I run a code, you can see here's the exact same result. And now remember that you can make this more efficient by replacing this with ellipsis that we have talked previously. So you can do the same thing for making this more efficient. And now let's talk about how we can read an image from a file and then convert that to a grayscale image. In order to do so, first of all, we simply type blt.imread because you want to read an image. And then we simply pass the path of that file, which we want. So here's the path of my file. And I store the result in a variable, let's say called image. And I don't touch the other lines. So because this is the function for converting image to grayscale. And this is the, and this, for example, in this line, we are converting that to a grayscale image. And these two lines, we are showing that grayscale image. So if I run a code, you can see here is the output, which is the grayscale image. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.